Hear ye, hear ye. Tonight's disjointed talk is about Minecraft. Hello, this is Fuzzy Weasel, and welcome to another disjointed talk. Yes, it's about Minecraft. So this, well, okay, it's not about Minecraft. It's about features that should be in Minecraft. So technically, yes, it's about Minecraft. So yes, it's about Minecraft. It's related to Minecraft. It's related to Minecraft in that it involves Minecraft. <laughs> well, see, I even wrote, read Minecraft. <coughs> yeah. So, yeah, same kind of thing that we did with the video about the, the movies, you know, go from around or something. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, so again, features that should be in Minecraft. We'll start off with Jeb, since you have a list that you wrote down. Okay, the first thing I want is pulleys. Pulleys, like, uh... As in, you know, rope pulley systems. Because then you could rig up a fucking elevator for your treehouse. It would be, it would be nice to have an elevator. If, if not, like, how would, you, how would you treat the pulley, though? Would it be, like, a block, or... Well, ideally, it'd be coupled with something like a redstone winch. That you just activate, and it'll hoist the rope. So, just so a, the rope is... Just a block that can consume a rope. So the rope is, is like string, I guess, and the string uh, well, would you, be... Well, you could actually just use the rope that's already there, the leads, and just attach, say, one lead equals X blocks. Rope? There's rope in Minecraft? Yeah, the leads for the horses. Add it into 1.6. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't done anything with horses yet. And this is why you fail. A. 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 No. <laughs> yeah, this guy only plays on maps that he's created and he's god of. I play on those maps because they're interesting. And he knows where he put everything. And I know where I put everything. I wasn't supposed to say that. I play on the interesting maps. Where he put everything. Sometimes I don't put a whole lot. Okay, in environment, you made it where diamonds that, are that, worthless. That was environment. That was, that was Stone different. Stone is worth more than diamond in that map. No. Yes, it no. is harder to find stone at a certain e depth. Emerald is the most valuable substance on that map because of the way the map interacted with one of the updates, all the emerald disappeared. So you have to actually go on th into the Outlands to find emerald. So it's the most... Well, thing. it's not like that's a problem either. You just murder dozens of creepers and create thousands of blocks of dynamite. So... You've removed all challenge. That's yeah, but that's environment. That's the map that you go to play on. This like what about Arrakis? The map where there's nothing. The map where you built your base, knowing where the resources were. I didn't know that at first. I forgot. He forgot ten minutes after. I forgot. Yes, and that's why I went to the other. This is off topic. We're off topic. It's a disjointed talk. Yes, I know, but come on. Get it? I said the title and the thing. Yes, you did. You did. Uh, so, a pulley system. Yes, oh, pulleys. Yeah, I think that could, that could work, definitely. I also look at that as it'd really be convenient. Say you want to create a river crossing long term. Set up like a raft and pulley system. So or, you just pull it across. Or if you could put a pulley system on, on a bunch of iron blocks, you'd be able to open it up. And let the... Yeah, it would make gates a lot easier, too. I mean, all of that stuff. It basically would be, like, an elongated piston system. Well, it would serve the function of a piston in an area where it just could not, yeah. Yeah, it would, and it would like, stretch the piston out forever and make it... Yeah, pretty much that's it. <laughs> just stretch the piston out. Which is why a winch and pulley system would be great. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good one. All right, so uh, my turn. I would like an advanced furnace. A furnace where you could smelt two things together to make, like, alloys and stuff. Like, you could take diamond, which has, like, hardness, and it's really, really good. Um, and you could take a little bit of diamond and fuse it with iron. So you'd have an iron pickaxe that you had... you have diamondium! Well, you'd have an iron pickaxe... Well, you'd, have, you'd have iron in, infused with diamond. So you'd have an iron pickaxe that had a little bit more strength to it, a little bit more longevity... And you could use it to mine obsidian. Diamond dillium. Or maybe instead of just like a whole pickaxe made of diamond like we have now, you would take... A diamond tip pickaxe. Yeah, just diamond yeah. tip, diamond edged. Yeah, like something... Would, yeah, that, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, so, so you'd, you'd have it... You'd have diamond encrusted iron 
ingots. So where you could take if they added in nickel and iron, you could you know you could you smelt could it together, and make do steel. Metallurgy, yeah. Yeah, something. Then something. add in some coal. Then add some coal to that. You get high carbon steel, which is yeah. stronger, but it'll break sooner. Basically, yeah. industrial craft. I th really think they ought to just in incorporate industrial craft into the game. For the most part, sans nuclear reactors, because I've never been able to get one to work. It, yeah, it's my opinion, okay. and it's right. Well, I think nuclear reactors really clash with the theme of Minecraft. I think yeah. it would be like a redstone reactor, which actually exists in the mobile version of the game. You're right, it does. Yeah, but I mean like a more volatile redstone reactor. Something well, that could... we have to cool it or it goes... Well, yeah, something, something that could provide power to redstone lines for like 300 blocks, but you have to keep it submerged in water or something. You have to have it in water... Otherwise, it could explode in like a big crater, or it could it could explode and release redstone dust, and that could poison the land and cause grass not to grow and kill all the trees. And it would stuff. depend on what kind of you know substance redstone technically would qualify as in that kind of in that world. I I view redstone as a kind of plutonium. Yeah, some kind of there's obviously some kind of radioactive. Uh, it, I wouldn't say it's radioactive because it burns forever. I'd say that it is more of a magically electroconductive material. Well, maybe maybe if if the redstone reactor explodes, that could that could like maybe it's like magically super kill people. Uh, set the set the ground on fire, electrocute everyone to death. Maybe I don't know if this actually work, works in real science. Maybe it's superconducting, so it pulls electricity from things around it and com focuses it on itself. Well, it can pull electricity from wood. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it maybe it causes a storm to be in a certain area and just lightning to strike around forever. Yeah. Or you know a day night cycle. What? Yeah, but forever. I like. I like. I. I wish Minecraft. You really just want to scorch the earth and let it burn. Yes, I do. I wish <laughs> Minecraft had longer lasting. Things that happened. Like, I wish you could really actually damage the environment. So are we going to get to the point where you just have the apocalypse mod running there, too? I wish it had an apocalypse option. I wish you could destroy the world on accident. What? You're really turning into a Farnsworth here. <laughs> Everyone's always for saving Hitler's brain. But the moment you put it in a great white shark, oh, that time you've gone too far. Tim, it's your turn. Remember when Jeb got struck by lightning? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, that was the most fucked up thing that's ever happened to me on Minecraft. And it almost happened again, I think. <laughs> well, no, like, I've never... I've only been struck by lightning once. But it just, like... <clears throat> all my shit was gone. <laughs> it destroyed you. It was funny. Anyways, so I my idea... Diamond. My, my idea is selective breeding. I, I think that all organic... Gr breedable, growable things should have traits that are kind of random and if you take that and, and then the seeds they produce would have those traits more or less and when you put those seeds and you kept you kept breeding them and growing them and keep picking the best ones of the traits you wanted and I don't know, there might be some kind of tool to analyze the traits or maybe it was all kind of a visual cue but you would just be able to breed these different kinds of plants and uh, animals like let's say that you were red always... corn grows faster than blue corn yeah yeah like maybe like there's just random and blue traits, corn like... provides more corn like like size and color or um... so if you made purple corn it is perfect corn so you could make like a big blocky cow that was bigger and blockier than the other cows yeah 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 a cow that takes up four blocks instead of two or a yeah. cow that mooed blood well no he just screams <laughs> motherfucker now yeah. <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm so glad no one else comes to this park. Yeah, it's fun to be in a poor county where no one knows there's a park here. I think the uh, I think even the landscapers forgot. It's not that bad. There's, the grass has been hasn't been mowed in maybe a couple well, I'm weeks. I'm more concerned about these trees that are just growing onto the path. A really shitty place to put a park, honestly, with all these hills and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I think if you had like a bike. Yeah, not bad. If it, it's yeah. a little tight, but yeah. You ride around slowly. Time might be a good thing. And there's some dead ends, like here. 
like coming down. Yeah, out there's a gazebo. <laughs> oh my face! Yeah, there's no way out. So so selective breeding. Yes. Yeah. I think that. I think honestly, I think that a lot of these oh, that we've talked about are already out there. Can we get mods. a cow that has to wear a helmet? I'm sure you get a like because his brains are kind of falling well, out. That would be the ear. funnest part is that there there's the minor end that you just you know you're getting more yield or you're just getting interesting animals, but then there's a the far end where they like they're turning into different things like you know. You can actually you get, can accidentally breed living pigmen. Yeah, you can well, actually breed pigmen and cowmen and stuff like that. Well, if you if you could like breed them and and the breeding could influence the model, like you could you could progressively breed a cow with longer and longer legs so you had this thing that was like twenty <laughs> units high and then just kind of like walked around like a spider. Yeah. And that, that might be a little extreme. Or one should... with an enormous head, like after twenty generations, just like this head with legs sticking out of it. Oh, kill me. <laughs> and uh, but I think if you want it to be kind of more functional than kind of fun, is a mushroom a moldy cow? No, yeah. it's uh, it is basically. I mean, God, that's horrible. I've seen animals that had mold like, on them. They don't look like that. They look like they have their skins falling off. Well, I think it's more of like somebody combined them genetically. What? They have mushrooms growing out of their spine. Genetic Minecraft engineering. There we yeah. go. Breed a creeper man. Yeah, that would be cool. Creeper that can teleport. That would be really cool. Just, you know, someone starts make, makes a plug-in and then people can just add all these crazy creatures into it and like different combinations. Being like, able being able to breed mobs. Yeah. Like, you know that... Non-explosive creepers you can just use as slaves. That that Pokemon matcher, you can breed all on the internet. You can take all, any Pokemon and mix it with any other Pokemon. Well, basically that in Minecraft, where you can take anything and mix it you with any You can call it Mobster. So, yeah, so you could you could influence a zombie to to have breed with a cow. Yeah, it'd be like some zombie. There should be zombie animals, obviously, but I'm just envisioning an exploding flying zombie bat now. Or or maybe breed a horse with a pig, so you had a small, very fast pig. Or 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 a or horse a with a chest. Large, very fat horse. <laughs> Breeding things with inanimate objects. I don't think that. I mean. A maybe, chest with a cow's body. Maybe it, through enchanting that could be something. So you could have the cow that walked around and you could lead it somewhere. So you could have like a chest that you could carry around. Yeah. Where are you putting the stuff? In you, in the cow. <laughs> you yeah. put the stuff in the cow. Yeah, those cows with the holes in the side so they can check the stomachs out and stuff. This is like that. Just open it up. That's only it. slightly better than shoving your arm up the cow's ass to get your shovel. <laughs> Where's the handle? I know that. No, that's bad. <laughs> oh, here it is. You take it out and it just drags. The cow's arms. You, you, you take your shovel out and it just drags the rest of the cow out with it. <laughs> so there's like a 10% chance your your chest will die when you, when you use it. <laughs> it's like, damn it. You put a sword in there. It's just sticking out of the cow's face as he walks along. <laughs> you like spit stuff up sometimes. <laughs> There went my heart. Like diamond heart. Bing, bing. You could get beef out of it. Would you be really terrible? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. quick, quick, quick side note here. I was on Reddit one night. Did, did you read the post about the Skyrim mod they wanted? They wanted a mod where each race's sperm had special properties. It had special alchemical properties. Okay. And they said the one problem with that mod is... Eventually, you could just pickpocket guys' sperm. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, oh my god, there was an animation by somebody. This guy was pickpocketing somebody, and he gets caught, and he stops. He's like, I didn't say you could stop. <laughs> it's like he's pickpocketing him. It's like a large black man. <laughs> yep. Yay. I made it awkward, you made it weird. There was a large black man. That was the joke. The, the joke is he's a large black guy. Yeah, and he said don't stop. It's your turn. No, it's his turn. No, wait. Yeah, went. I just talked about the thing. Oh, wait, yeah, your thing was the selective breeding. Yeah, it's, it's your turn. Okay, let me refer to the list. Skills. I want to actually be able to put my, what will be skill points in 1.8, into actual skills that I can develop for things like, say, better crafting. Or like running faster. 
Yeah, things like that where it really benefits you long term, even if it's just world specific, like I hope it would be. Yeah, because otherwise the points, I mean, the points are really useful, I guess, for enchanting, but... They're literally useless anywhere else. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, I'd like to see something like a level up system where it persists after your character dies, but only persists in the world itself, not across your entire profile. There is kind of something like that where basically like mining, um, like every tool had its own skill related to it, and they all leveled up, and they all had like uh, an ability. Like when you mined, you mined really fast, like it was instantaneous. Or like the when you were chopping trees, it was like an explosive chop, and it killed, and it took out most of the tree. And when you what? were and you were digging, it would just, like, Are dig Are you referring fast. to a mod? Yeah. Or? Okay. That, that should have been the preface there. Well, obviously, because you never noticed it, have you? <laughs> so it's a mod. But, yeah, I, I used to play on a server that had that, and it was pretty cool. I actually missed it after I played on it, because it was so easy to just right-click and do all your specials, and, and the longer you level it up, the <coughs> it's, the... it's a completely flat wooden seat. It's not very comfortable. No, it's not. But, you know... It looks like it'd be like a two or three hundred dollar seat, though. Honestly. Well, it's, it's, it's a lacquered stump with legs. Yeah, if yeah. you saw this in a store, though, it'd be two or three hundred dollars. Probably. Just because people are dumb and yeah. they won't go out in the woods with lacquer and a chainsaw. Yep. Why would you go out with the lacquer? You're going to do it all on the spot. And then carry it back. <laughs> you're sanding with your teeth. Because you're a man. I saw someone sand with a chainsaw. That's that's actually impressive. Well, they had a, they had a really fine-tipped... Uh, chain on it, and they were like going, zzz, 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 like really. It was at a, it was at the state fair, I think. It was. At uh, what point does chainsaw carving just become decadent? I mean, at the point where you've got designer chains for your chainsaw, I think you're no longer chainsaw carving. I saw, I did see one uh, act where the guy put an apple in his mouth and carved with on the apple with the chainsaw. Oh my God. What if you've got a big nose? <laughs> well, you don't have one. What's the guy's name in Family Guy? With the big ass nose? Big nose? Which one? There's like 40 of them. He's got a huge nose. And he's like Are you really thinking famous. of James Bottom Tooth? The guy with the big jaw? <laughs> Maybe. But there's, an, there's a nose version of him, isn't there? Lois. Wait, who's... <laughs> wait, what were we talking about Wasn't before that I mentioned sandwich the sandwich one time? What the fuck were we talking about? You, you had, you on, had the thing. Up, what were we talking about? Uh, skills. Skills. So yeah, yeah, skills. Yeah, I think skills would be cool. Yeah, things like where you you craft something, you level up your crafting skills so that they become more durable. And like a perk, like a level up perk system kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know about perks. Just I'd say like <coughs> half of what Skyrim did, where you're just level, or more like Oblivion, where you're just leveling the tree itself, but yeah. there's no skills attached that you can select. Yeah. But then people would inevitably, inevitably want perks and skills. Well, fuck the people. We still can't make saddles. Because <laughs> Jeb's a douche. That's right. You make my name look bad. That's right. Jeb is a douche. He's a douchebag. Jeb is a douchebag. Jeb sucks. For those who don't get the joke, my name is also Jeb. It's funny because he has Jeb as It's funny a name. because I'm a fat American named Jeb instead of a skinny Norwegian. It means things. Is that poop? <laughs> <laughs> what is? What are you pointing at? Is that? I think that's poop. <laughs> Lick it. <Nope. laughs> I'm good. We're not high. We're, we really are. Um, okay, so so uh, skills. Yeah, skills. Uh, mine. My next one is is pretty simple. I'm actually kind of surprised it's not already in the game. Uh, gates. It, you know, basically a different kind of door that's maybe three, a little wider than a door, but you can attach it to a lever and it just goes like, psh, psh, like a gate. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, I you've actually seen what I do with my gates. Like, I, they get so fucking complicated the more that you add. Well, yeah. So something, something to make it so you don't have to have a whole big building full of redstone to work out a gate. Just like an iron... Iron gate that goes up when you flip the lever, yeah. and then it goes down when you flip the just, lever again. Just in in my first one point six map, it took me a solid week to come up with a good gate for my horses, so that I could actually bring my horses inside the fort, 
and then ride them out without having to like dismount and lead them through a tiny fucking door that they might die going through. Yeah, something something to where you could fit large things in and you could, you know, just it'd be a gate, just like a wooden gate or an iron gate. Same thing with doors. You have a wooden door, an iron door, you have yeah. a wooden gate and an iron gate. I want a flesh gate. <laughs> so make it out of rotten flesh. So you could you could have that and then you could you could you could eventually improve on that like like improve on PvP where you could add in like siege towers or a ram so you could go in and ram the gate and like a trebuchet a trebuchet would be cool but uh, but gates no because then you'd have skeleton trebucheters god you have a team of skeleton they snipe you from 6 miles what if the <laughs> yeah the what's the what is it called a fortress what is it called the thing there's like three of them in the whole map uh, and, that, and that's how you get to the end. <coughs> oh, uh, uh, stronghold. Yeah, the strong. What if the strongholds were actually defended by skeletal armies, with like trebuchets and like all knights and shit? It'd be ridiculous to get. Yeah, those. more variation in what the stupid skeletons do, other than stand around with ridiculously accurate bow and arrows, and that that can like hit you no matter what the hell you're doing. Yeah, you can be six hundred feet underwater. You got a skeleton? I got this shit. And that's, that's, I mean, I know my turn's already up, but that's another thing. Arrows should not be able to work underwater. They should hit the water and go down. Well, arrows do work underwater to a certain degree. Well, yeah, they do, but it's not like they just go, and then they keep going straight like they do in the air. Yeah, you're right. They, they hit, they lose a bunch of momentum because it's water. And then they just kind of slowly slide in. You know what else water needs other than density? What? It needs current. It does have current. To an extent it has current, but... Yeah, it needs current. Like a river doesn't have current. Rivers needs to be running. Yeah. A a running water that can also be a source block. Yeah. Yeah. Do these things. (coughs) So so I have one now. Shields. Yeah. Aren't shields in this shields. game? It seems fairly because you obvious. Can't, you, you can't dual wield. That's pretty much the only reason from what I gather. You should be able to dual wield. Yeah, you should be able yeah, to I, dual two wield. Two pickaxes. It's it's in all the Minecraft videos. You got, like... It is. They have a pickaxe. And, and a torch. Do. Yeah. A torch! Being able to hold a torch while you do shit. Yes. So, alongside of shielding, like, before that would be dual, dual wielding. So, dual wielding yeah. should be in this game. Make Skyrim with Minecraft in exactly. it. Exactly. That's what we're getting at here. Yeah. You could dual wield shields. Yep. And walk around doing this. So just this. turtle. Yeah. People, but yeah. I remember when, when uh, Oblivion said that you could dual wield with the shield. And, wait, it wasn't maybe... I don't know. But anyways, people were talking about how they were going to run around with two shields. And no, no, no Skyrim. Yeah, no game allows that. No, ever. You can never have two shields on. Turtle approach. Although you should be able to do two shields in Skyrim. Yeah. Because, I mean, you carry it around. You, you could have two shields and you could run up and just shield bash people. Just run up and go... <laughs> Put them up! Put them up! <laughs> um, what, what else? What it's else? like MMA and the Special Olympics. Jeb's turn. Yeah, it's Jeb's turn. Jeb's turn. Consult your paper. Consulting the page. Okay, here's a, here's a good one on the back. All right. And this is more of a top level thing. You, you, we like to we, you like to build a lot of maps, right? Yeah. Wouldn't life be so much fucking simpler if you could just build them in creative and then change them change the world type so that you could actually play in survival? Being able to change world types. Yeah, without going through some super complicated system that probably won't work. <coughs> or or putting it through a program that. No, I've, I've tried it. Even if you say you, you create the world in creative and host it in survival, it doesn't work. Game mode one and two. Or game mode zero. Well, I'm pretty sure it's just a console command. Well, it shouldn't be a console. It, it should just be a clickable option. Or a text command. Well, like, you, you exit out of the world, yeah, you it, go to your load screen, you hit the load, and you, it should have a little option, like, like options, and you hit the options thing, and it says change things. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's, I think that's reasonable. In hit escape, change the option. Just a lot of world admin control would be better. So, like, yeah. in general, being able to change your game type... Being able to select the frequency of certain drops. Say if you're creating something like uh, your your poison earth map that's coming up. Yeah, yeah. 
be able to disable things like carrot drops or potato drops. Yeah, just just little things like that, because that's, that's really going to take away from the survivalist aspect. I mean, yeah. I've been going around in that map, and this is something we'll cover in another video, but I've been going around in that map killing zombies, and it's like every other zombie drops a carrot and a potato. So, like, well, I'm shit. starving. I better murder this zombie. Not only does it drop a carrot and potato, but it also drops rotten flesh. So this, it's, this, this earth has been poisoned for billions of years. Well, a thousand uh, years. Uh, okay, this earth has been ruined for a thousand years, but this fucker has fresh carrots. Yeah. Or fr no fresh food underground kind of thing. Okay, oh, oh. there's some kind of backstory. Yeah, that's, that's my thing. My next thing. Uh... A biome called Ruins. Thank yes, my god. Because um, yeah, 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 yeah. So a biome called Ruins, where it's just it, it, it's like grass and vines. Because when vines are on things, that means they're, they're aban abandoned. They're abandoned. It's an in joke. But when vines are on things, it means they're abandoned. So you can have like ruins of buildings. Like you go around, and there's a there's a stronghold, and and there's and there's a thing, it'd be like, it'd be like the ruins that spawn randomly on a map, except in this biome they'd spawn, like, next to each other. So it'd be like stumbling onto a ruined village and stuff. Yeah. Like ruined cities, villages, castles, yeah, stuff. fortresses. Stuff like that. that would be awesome, like, you and your buddy stumble upon one on a server, you make it your mission to rebuild this city. Yeah, like a big, like a big ruined skyline. That'd be so find things cool like to find. written books chronicling the area. Well, okay, written books might be a little much to code in, but stuff like like Not chests. Really, I mean, like say you find you find an abandoned library. That's just one of the things that's set to spawn. And a, an abandoned library would have like would have like bookshelves and maybe chests full of enchanting books. Yeah, and just you know, one written book in there. That would be so bad. Well, yeah, I, I think eventually they'll have questing in the game, like actual questing. You talk to NPCs and get quests and stuff. I mean, I've been looking at the stuff for 1.8, and they're adding stuff so you can set objectives, but nothing for, like, quests yet. Well, There's obviously... Like mosquito. Damn it. Obviously, Damn that's the direction they're going in, so a lore to go along with the quest system they're Absolutely. Gonna yeah. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Because I want to know job. how those fuckers got down to sealed territory to build a mine. Like these mines that have sealed, that, that are totally sealed off from the rest of the world, hanging out into the void. How the fuck did they get there? And why did they build out into the void? What's yeah. there to mine? It's empty nothingness. Uh, it's, I like the, we we see we see that in his maps where like he set it to populate. But it populates out into the endless expanses. So, so okay, so maybe not. That's I I don't think the written stuff is that important, but like a ruins area. Yeah, yeah. to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't read it. <laughs> and I, like, different buildings would have different purposes, like you'd run across a school or a house or a, a blacksmith shop and you could get iron and stuff. It'd be a real cool place to loot, mm -hmm. basically. And then you could turn it into a stronghold. You could find the heads and stuff? Yeah, skulls and more bones, like ribs and stuff. Yeah, you can make, like, xylophones or and backpacks do, from ribs. And do more with the witches. Like, maybe witches have their own little keeps and things. Right? Yeah. Well, they do have... They have, well, they the have little that witch little houses. cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Which is because witches live out in the swamp in a cabin. I don't know. It's Minecraft. Witches wear huge cone hats and have enormous noses. It sound like squid were being condescending at you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a zombie plague affecting your entire race and makes you depressed. <laughs> okay, Maybe so. that's it, actually. So it's it's your turn, Tim. Oh, shit. Especially now that you can see child zombies running around. How come you don't see child witches? You have to learn. Dummy. I don't have anything. I wasn't thinking. I was getting in the conversation. <laughs> well, okay, Jab, it goes back to you, then. Referring to the list. Actually, no, I'm just going to skip the list this time. Ships. Ships, other than boats. Well, I mean, like, all the way up to the space age ships. Which leads, it, it kind of goes hand in hand with another one of mine, where, ages. Start at the, start at the stone age, work your way all the way up to the space age, so you can go out and settle on new planets. Like tech trees. Like, going up to through the techs. Yeah, stuff like where you can pilot a ship all the way out to the moon, build a base, get bored, go back. 
The Bring British out your dead! The British are coming. Bring out your Bring dead! Out well, no, we're, we're in the South. The Democrats are coming. The Democrats are coming. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, ages. Um, ages could be cool. I mean, really, just because I want to... I want to get bored on Earth, say, I don't want to live on this planet anymore, build a rocket, leave, go to some far-off planet, wash, rinse, and repeat. Well, okay, the space age thing, I would kind of do without, I would just say, more dimensions. Because the nether's boring as shit. There's really no reason to go into the nether other than to find nether fortresses and get lava and, and quartz. But that's it. The nether's yeah, boring. you really should just spawn within like a thousand blocks of another fortress. Yeah, I mean, I, I get the end is kind of empty because it's the end and the whole point of the end is to fight the Ender Dragon, but the Nether's fucking boring. There needs to be something else, and there's so much potential for something else. Like, you could go to the moon, and it'd be really cool to, to go to the moon or, or go on the sun. I mean, it'd basically be nothing but lava, but, like, be able to find things on the sun. Be, well, basically, the sun uh, would be, like, the perfect place to build the ultimate forge. Is that the end of the moon? No, the end is, uh... Is is, another dimension? The end is some kind of weird static dimension, yeah. But, like, the moon. Be able to go on the moon, get moonstone, which would be highly reflective stone, or... It gives you It'd be like glowstone on meth. It'd be like it'd be like glowstone, but like temporary glowstone, like glowstone that needed to charge, so it would only it would only stay lit for a certain amount of time. Glowstone that only worked at night. Well, glowstone that that only that only worked at night for for like a few minutes, like maybe five minutes after it was exposed to light or sun. Yeah, something that absorbed energy. Or you could attach it to some sort of redstone thing, and it would. Power, it would be powered. Yeah, which and you could, glowstone's kind of like that already, so it'd be kind of redundant. But well, it'd be, it would be brighter than glowstone. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah. And glowstone. you could find you could find moon ruins. Yeah. And and there'd be moon mobs. I want to be able to make a bamboo like shack. Yeah, more uses for sugarcane. Like building with sugarcane, and more uses for Las Pazazel. Lupus lazul lapis lazul. Yeah, something other than dye, because other than that, it just gets. It's, I don't... it's, it's a shitty building material too. Yeah, it's got like the strength of nothing. Zombie gets bored. I mean, I'll most demolished of the, your blue village. Shit. Most of the time, I just end up making it out, like make, making blocks out of it, and just making a pyramid somewhere. You build a lot of monuments. I, I like ruins. I like making ruins, and then you I like... You like putting vines on them after people have stopped playing for a week and going, it's abandoned! What? Yes! I like, after people aren't on the server, I like to go around with vines, and I hang the vines up, and I damage the buildings, and they're abandoned. The buildings so, are abandoned. We were playing on the environment server one time, and I hadn't played for about a month. I finally logged back in one day, Go to my hideout. It's an underground fort. Really cool. You'll see it in the anniversary map once once that's done. This bastard has hung vines and knocked out some bricks and put spider webs in and called I, it abandoned. I, I knocked out the bricks and I put cracked stone in and I hung spider webs strategically. I think that's the let's go out and find some new job. Uh, not this guy. It might be. No, okay, that's the helicopter photography guy. Uh, that guy? He just photographs land for people. I know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of him coming up to me at my house and, and showing me pictures you of my house. You want me to show you your house? Look at this! Pay me $100 and I'll give you this picture of your house. Like, Q, I'll go onto Google Earth and do it. I'll, I'll be able to see my Enjoy house from for a space. higher resolution. <laughs> yeah. I've got this four megapixel camera I'm doing it with. Take a look at my phone got. Ooh, there's someone's house. So, uh... That's your penis, sir. It's a house. So, uh... Um, I really hope that guy's not one of your subscribers, because if he is, he's not anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, the vines. I, I hung the vines strategically. I made it look realistic. 
And to he be hung vines inside a sealed vault. They were not vines in that circumstance. They were roots. From what? The there grass. There is just grass on. Grass, grass does not root that aggressively. It can. Certain breeds of grass do do that. No! Yes, they do. Also, I put a tree up there. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I put a tree No, you up. didn't. I put a tree. No, you didn't. Yes, I did, because no, it's still didn't. there. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You put it back then. I put the tree there, and the tree's roots went in, and I it spent damaged the... days creating that meticulously cut-out landscape. And then you spent months ignoring it, and that's what happens. <laughs> that's well, then what I'm just going to go start nuking your your little subterranean tunnels on one of our maps. You Good luck finding them. No, uh, on Land World, you remember the one where we were cooperating, and I built that nice rail system, and I know exactly where it is because there's a stop along the way? I don't remember Land World. Really? I'll load it up when we get back to the place. So, anyway... That crashed and What was burned. I talking about? Um... I don't fuck. Know. Ruins. Ruins! 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 Wait, no, we already did ruins. Ruins. And I asked you what you wanted. And then I was talking about uses for laps belizzle. Yeah, lapis belizzle. Laps belizzle. So, yeah, it's your turn again. You've got a list. I've got one. Well, I mean, we, you've got, got one? Yeah. Oh, wait, he's got one. No, it's my turn. <laughs> okay. Fuck I think, the blonde guy. I think it's Fuck the blonde that, guy! It's something that might come eventually anyways, but obviously there's some kind of underlying lore going on because there's a bil there's buildings and there's they, and it takes you to the end. Somebody had to build those buildings. Somebody had to get to the end, and there's got to be a reason for it yeah. besides the dragon. And, and also the Endermen. What the fuck are... They, they're not just there. They have... They have they're just... They're like, what are they collecting blocks for? Yeah, yeah, they do, there's something that's going on there. And also, why isn't there a, a nether fortress in the real world? Like, a, like, why don't fortresses have nether portals in them that, that let you, that, you know, obviously someone had to have figured it out at some point, and someone's building the fortresses. <coughs> and it's probably not the pigmen. <laughs> It's like, is this just some ancient, it's like a world, Minecraft is a world that was abandoned billions of years ago, and there's That's just, why there's fines. And all they built are, like, <laughs> they built, like, jungle temples and well, the, sand temples yeah. and abandoned them. The way I look at it, Minecraft lore for the world is probably very similar to Adventure Time lore. Yeah. There was a place before, and then the Mushroom War happened. <laughs> exactly, and that's why there's mushroom biomes. Except that has nothing to do with the Adventure Time lore. It's a new I, lore. I know, I know, but that's also why there are vines on things. They should be. They should do more. With they, they, they don't do anything. I feel like they pretty much abandoned the power drive. It's just a, a money fountain at this point for them. But why not do more with the mushroom biomes? Or add more cool little random biomes that you can find. Rare biomes, you know? Like uh, ruins. That, actually, that is coming. Or, or like, say, rare... Rare... Uh, Rare versions of biomes is coming in a, one of the coming updates. I mean, well, the next update they're going to have mesas and uh, pine Disco. forests. Disco canyons. The hardened clay canyons made of different colored clay. That's cool. Different colored clay. I like that. That means there'll be different colored bricks. They're oh, just... that's what. Go ahead. That's that's one of my things. That's one of the things I want to talk about. Being able to stain glass. Yeah, that would be awesome. So and that it's would make a giant the monument to yourself. Well, I mean, it seems like the most logical thing, too. Like, why is, can't you stain glass already? Yeah, you could stain, like, glass panes and then make yourself a giant temple with your face beaming down. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Like, why not? <laughs> why Why hasn't... Like, literally, why isn't that in the game? It seems yeah. like it'd be so easy to just say, well, you put the glass on this panel, on, on the crafting table, you put the glass here... You put the the die here, and there you get the stained glass. It's so, it'd be that easy. Why isn't it already in there? No, you have to go through a mod. You're a mod. Okay, Jeb. Yeah, Jeb, your turn. You were complaining, so it's your turn. Okay, this one's actually really simple but really obvious. When you make a map, why can't you like designate a point on that map? Say you build a re you, you make this max zoomed out map, right? But you can't find your house on the fucking map because it's an enormous map. Being able to put waypoints on the map. Yeah, being able to set waypoints on the map. And you can do that as simply as placing your map, black ink, and a feather. 
So you have a writable map. Yeah. And it's not even like that's unrealistic. You could, yeah. Hey, that's kind of the point of maps is so you can remember <coughs> where stuff is. Yeah. Why yeah. not? Yeah. I mean, you, you, they have something like that. Have you ever made a map and then you can make a map that is like a, basically a real map. Like you take a map and then you tile it. You know, after you've explored the area, you make a map, explore the area, put it on the wall, do it again, do it multiple times. Where your house is will show up on that map. Well, I mean, yeah, but if you build out, if you build a really zoomed out map, like say the one you carry around, this a max level of zoom. If your if your place isn't big enough, you're not going to find it. Yeah, I guess that's true. And I guess what I was saying earlier isn't really true. It just shows you where you are. It, yeah, in in rel in uh, and, relation. Yeah, and also where other maps are, I think. Yeah, where other where the active maps are, though. Yeah, so they have you, to be it, on well, the if you put one on your wall, it counts as active. Oh, right, and the ability to continually max out a map. Like, is it keep the more you explore, yeah, the just, smaller it gets. well, well, I mean, like being able to just continually add paper to the map and just make it big, yeah, that would and, be cool. and and just keep zooming out. I mean, eventually. I guess it would become really impossible to use, and it might slow the game down, but when has that really stopped the developers before? You know? Or at least make it so that it gets it can be bigger, but even if it's not unlimited, like, you know, 10 by 10, you know? Yeah, okay, make it, make it, increase the size of the map, basically, yeah. Because yeah. even the most, the even the biggest version of the map is kind of... You're basically only getting, like, half the size of a small town. Yeah, it, it's really... Not that big, really. It's too small. Too sm maps are too small. Like, and one when of the you... things I really hate about maps is like the lowest level map. You only can see your immediate surroundings, and it's like, what the fuck is the point of that? Yeah. I guess in case like you want a map of a house. You don't, but you don't map the inside of the house. It doesn't show the box for your house. No, it only shows the top. Yeah, it's a top level view. What if you made it with the roof off of it? And then put the roof on afterwards. It would reload after you pull the map up. Really? Yeah. Uh, wait, it's red. The recording is red. We have to pitch this. Oh, no. We have to... Uh... Well, don't forget when you sign off with the uh, thing this time. Well, I'll... Oh, right, right. It is red. I'll, so I'll bring that up. So, okay, so this ends the disjointed talk because the battery is about to run out. And if there are any topics you want us to talk about, list them in the comments below. So Because uh, we're all about audience participation on this show. That's why we ask every time now. Yes, now we ask every time. It, I don't know, it never occurred before. So anyway, uh, have, a, have a good day, and there will probably be another disjointed talk loaded up after this. So, uh, That's a big ant. I love you. <laughs>